Once you are able to go home, you will receive automated telephone check-ins from us. These calls will ask you general questions on how you're doing. A nurse will call you back if there are any questions regarding any of your answers. This is just an extra check. If you have any concerns after you're discharged, please call your surgeon's office or the nursing coordinator that day. You will have a follow-up appointment with your surgeon about six weeks after your surgery. The surgeon's office will call you within about four to six weeks after your discharge to set up this appointment. You should call and make an appointment with your family doctor within about two weeks after you're discharged. Make an appointment with your cardiologist within about three to six months after your surgery. If you don't have a cardiologist, your surgeon will refer you to one after your follow-up appointment. By far, most patients are able to return to normal life after heart surgery. Prevention is secure. By making changes to your modifiable risk factors, you will be doing what you can to prevent further heart problems. Take the following steps to reduce your risk associated with heart disease. Try your best to eat a balanced diet, do regular exercise, manage your diabetes if you have diabetes, avoid smoking, avoid excessive alcohol, try to manage your stress, manage your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels, and know your risk factors, including genetics. Understand your medication, have regular follow-ups, and of course, investigate any new symptoms with your doctor. Quitting smoking can be very difficult. Smoking before surgery and after surgery can significantly increase your risk for wound infection and lung problems after surgery. You can contact our smoking cessation program to help. Focusing on stopping smoking just four weeks before and after your surgery will help improve your outcomes. The contact information for our Stop Smoking program is on our website and in your patient guide. Alcohol. We recommend heart patients to not drink alcohol. If you do drink, it's important to understand ways to reduce your risk of long-term impacts to your heart and overall health. Less alcohol is better and reduces your risk.